Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, hello, hello. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Hey, what's your relationship like with your parents? Is it good? Is it bad? You see, this is a question you can ask to a room full of people, and you'll get all sorts of different answers from every single one of them. It seems there's no shortage of unique parenting styles and parenting advice out there. Uh, But Paul offers us a very simple yet deep picture of what a parent and child relationship could and should look like. Let's read it in Colossians 3, 20 through 21. Children, always obey your parents, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not aggravate your children, or they will become discouraged. God calls children to obey their parents because it pleases them. And here's the truth about kids. When growing up, kids seem to be missing essential brain function and abilities in order to stay alive or thrive. I'm sure you've met a child. Uh, But God designed their needs uh, to be surrounded by us parents on purpose because it's a reflection of how God parents us. Just like God's desire is for our children to obey us, he wants us to do the same to him. None of us can ever or will ever obey perfectly, though. Our childhood and lives are marked by one major disobedience after another. And yet God wants you to know that in the midst of our disobedience, his love is adamant and strong. It chases after our hearts first before expecting our obedience. And even in our disobedience, God saved us through the obedience of his one and only son, Jesus Christ. His perfect obedience brought him to the cross so he could pay for the consequences of our sins. Also, God can bring us back into the family, back to a place where we can honestly admit that we are children of God, who, like our children, cannot live or thrive on our own. And we were never meant to. So his desire for children is to obey their parents. But then the second passage shows us a way how. Fathers, don't embitter your children. What does that mean? Don't purposely anger them. Don't do things that that would lead them to resenting you or harbor anger towards you. Or worse, don't lead them in a life that hates themselves. Don't be overcritical. Don't be harsh. Don't punish them unfairly. Why? Because God says we'll discourage them. And I could already hear some parents yelling at the screen, have you met my child? They need to be discouraged from doing the things that they're doing. But look, God hates sin and disobedience more than you. And yet he still calls us to not parent them in a way that embitters them. Not to deal with their sin and disobedience how we want to, but rather how he wants us to. God's commanding us to treat our children how he treats us. Romans 2.4 says this, Don't you see how wonderfully kind, tolerant, and patient God is with you? Does this mean nothing to you? Can't you see that his kindness is intended to turn you from your sin? Do you understand? If anyone deserves harsh punishment and constant critique, it's us. We are worse sinners than our children because we have more knowledge of God, deeper knowledge of God, yet we still choose to rebel against him every single day. But what does God do in response to our rebellion? He's wonderfully kind to us. In fact, he sent Jesus to die on the cross for us. He is tolerant of our sin. That doesn't mean he's accepting. It means that he has every right to destroy us the second that we disobey him. And yet, and yet he doesn't. He tolerates our disobedience, knowing we are not hopeless and will someday possibly repent. I also know the more I try in my own parenting power is when things tend to fall apart, is when I tend to be really, really selfish or damaging to my kids. So fellow parents, old or young, if you have any passages of scripture that shaped your parenting lives, then please put them in the comments below and leave some encouragements for all of us parents because we're all just doing our best. And with that, I hope hope you see God chasing after your heart today. And I hope that that's what shapes every part of your life, especially how you deal with your kids. Love you, Calvary. See you later.